Yes, so, so trivia questions, and then um, I brought a couple of little tote bags from the store, so we're gonna give some prizes to the winners of the trivia questions, and everybody has a chance to right. answer these questions. Joseph worked so hard. I worked on. so hard. I slaved and I slaved. <laughs> Guys, so here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna read the question. It's gonna be A, B, or C. Throw your hand up if you think you know the answer. Where's Andy? Andy is right. Give it up for Andy oh, Bartholomew, hey, Andy. everybody. And Andy's yes. gonna be- uh, He's got a microphone. He's gonna be coming to uh, whoever we point to with their hand up to get their answer. If your answer's correct, you may win yourself one of these amazing totes. If your answer is wrong, you win nothing. You go home <laughs> with nothing. So, are you guys ready? Okay, okay. I'm gonna start with this one. Okay. So, the, uh, this is gonna be for all of you guys who are really familiar with the mythology. Okay. What is the best way to ward off a vampire? Is it a wait for the ABC? <laughs> wait for the ABC. Is it A, a garlic bodysuit? Covers your entire body. This is new technology. You get bitten in the leg, garlic, wards them off. Bitten in the chest, garlic. Bitten it. It doesn't cover the neck, so if you get bitten in the neck, you, you know. <laughs> Well, for $20 more, you can get like a garlic A garlic neck choker to go with your garlic suit. Is it A, a garlic bodysuit? Is it B, B, a witch's brew? Or is it C, an always and forever silver heart necklace from the Morgan White store? Okay. Andy? I think we're gonna have to, Andy, oh, go on, go uh, we're gonna have to close, I'm gonna close my eyes and you tell me who I'm pointing to. That way it's fair, okay? Ready, Over Andy? here. <laughs> Go I see to a hand exactly right there. Go who to she's exactly pointing where I'm to, pointing. Andy. And if you are psychic. It's all on you, Andy. We believe in you. <laughs> exactly. Yes. C. C, the always and forever uh, silver, silver heart, heart necklace locket. from the Morgan White store is the correct, is the correct answer. answer. Andy, come Andy, and grab a tote. You are a winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. What, what's his name, the winner's name here? What's your name? James. James, congratulations. Congratulations, James. Yeah. You are a vampire. For James. A sure winner. Okay, uh, this one, again, I worked very hard on these questions, so please treat them with respect. Thank you. What is Klaus's favorite Bedtime story. Is it A, Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Is it B, Little Red Riding Hood? Or is it C, The Shining by Stephen King? Andy, go over here to exactly who I'm pointing at. Exactly where he's pointing. Exactly. See it's, a little hand. Again, <laughs> the it responsibility like lies with you, Andy. No pressure. Here we go. No pressure. Thank you, Andy. Yes. Me? What's See, The, the Shining. Uh, the answer, The Shining, I'm afraid, is the wrong answer. Oh, Joseph Morgan is a big Stephen King fan. Klaus, he'll take him or leave him. <laughs> is it A, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, or B, Little Red Riding Hood? Andy? We've got someone, we got someone in the front, um, some hands in the front, so we're going to go right here. Ah, yes. Andy. Ha Hi. Hi. Uh, is it B? It is B. Yeah. You know Yay! why? He loves the big bad wolf. It's his favorite character. Okay, We've got a and in this, in this comes a What's little hybrid heart, a little hybrid heart and some oh, goodies. A little All hybrid right. heart. Congratulations, young lady. Congratulations. That's from when Klaus tore out the hearts of his hybrids and we, we kept them as gifts for you guys. <laughs> the wolf should have given it away. I like that. That's how nice. <laughs> We are. Okay, I've got Last one more. One. I've got Last one more, one. then we're gonna go to regular panel mode, okay? Last one. What is the name of the curse that prevented Klaus from taking on his hybrid form? Is it a wait for the ABC? <laughs> is it A, the no powers for you curse? <laughs> B, the don't get hairy curse, or C, the sun and moon curse. 
Okay, Persia. Joseph, this is your turn to spin. Okay. Close your eyes. Close. Whoa, 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 whoa. Andy, go here. Go here to, to exactly who I'm pointing at. There you go. There she is. Andy's coming through. He's going. Oh, he's working what? it. Uh, oh, Whoa. he's going. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. See? Interesting. It is C, the sun and moon curse. Sun and moon curse. And what is your name? I, I wanted to go for the don't get hairy curse, but Julie Plex shut it down. So we went with the sun and moon curse and the bar of soap that apparently Thank broke you. the sun and moon curse. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. That was a little uh, taste of what the Morgan White show is like, prizes. And, and it's all about non-bullying and loving and, and, and this beautiful fan group that we have. And some of you are here. Thank you so much for, for welcoming us and being kind to each other. Yeah, we appreciate you and we appreciate you looking out for each other. Thank you, guys. Yes. So, yes. Val, Hi again. Hi, Val. Is it my turn to fangirl? It's your turn. Yay! I was trying to be patient. By the way, round of applause to our winners. They really know their stuff. It's like an encyclopedia of Vampire Diaries. So I have to ask you guys, first of all, how has Belfast been treating you? Because I just love to see you interact with your fans and you make it so fun for everybody. But how has the Belfast crew been treating you? Amazing. Yeah, really, really lovely. And the sun came out today, didn't it, yes, guys? It I mean, that was nice. I feel like I'm in California. It's I so know. beautiful and sunny. It's beautiful. Is it always like this? <laughs> <laughs> not quite, not quite. Well, you mentioned, uh, you know, the Morgan White special. I had the pleasure of seeing it in Liverpool. And again, so fan interactive, so thoughtful what you guys come up with. Not only, I would, I'd like to know how you came up with it, but also why was it important to sort of, you know, make it such a fun experience for the fans? Should we start? Yeah, go, go ahead. And a really unique <laughs> experience, very unique yeah. Yeah, as well. Um, well, it was during the pandemic, and we, we reached out and we started doing shows on Stage It, which is kind of like for musicians and kind of like conventions. They did some of the panels. And um, the fans started interacting with us, and everybody was um, very, there was a lot of sadness and a lot of stress and anxiety. And people started writing us notes, and we would challenge people to write letters about you know, sort of moving away from your past and sadness and what could make you happy or who could you support. And it was all about love and community and we connected at a different level. Yeah, we, we found that we all shared a love of genre and we found that people actually, you know, the internet can be a really toxic place, but people actually wanted to look out for each other. And we found this amazing fan group that wanted to be there for each other and support each other. So we try to kind of harness that and promote that in our shows and that's kind of how it came together. Yeah, and the conventions, we can do it live and we can give you things from the store and we can just sort of help inspire people to be supportive of each other and that's what this is all about, family. That's right. I, I did give them the signal, Val. I, <laughs> you know, it's about time they cut me off. They're like, that Val's been talking all day. We've got to cut her microphone off. No, I was going to say that you can really feel that energy, that positivity, the inclusivity, thank you, um, that we feel here at Comic-Con. Before we get to these very patient fans that are waiting here, one more question for me. You, know, you mentioned the pandemic, and I think we can all agree that shows like The Vampire Diaries, The Originals, those are comfort shows for us, I think. Something that you've seen a million times. She's like, yeah, you can watch it over and over. What is your comfort show or film? Here you go. Whoa, what do you think Whoa. is our comfort show? Well, like I tell you what we loved. It, it, it was, uh, we were all about Game of Thrones. Like, yes. man, we made up our own theme song for the beginning. There yeah. was nothing like the it opening credits. It doesn't sound like the original. Yeah, we got like our dogs into it. We, they call it Game of Phones, <laughs> but they're really into it. Uh, like we were all about that. And now we, we moved on to House of the Dragon. Like we're, we're all up in that yes. world, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we have a few, but yes. Yeah, you're in the right place for that. We keep talking about the Game of Thrones filming locations here, so yeah. extracurricular after the con, you never there know. There you go. Now It'll we have so many questions. will be me dressed as Jon Snow at yeah. the uh, Game of Thrones <laughs> locations. Oh, what a crossover, am I right? That would blow our minds as fans. Please feel free to introduce yourself, and we're going to ask that everyone just has one question so we can get through as many as we have time for, okay? Hi there. Hello. Oh, another mic down. <laughs> Think, try again. Uh, hi, my go. name is Regan, and 
I was wondering, what's your favorite like, sibling on the Vampire Diaries? My favorite sibling on the Vampire Diaries, uh, or Klaus's favorite? Klaus's. Klaus's favorite is definitely Rebecca, because uh, he felt very protective over her, you know, as his younger sister and everything. And even though Claire was incredibly annoying in real life, Klaus loved her as a sibling. No, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Keep going. Hi, hi, hi. My name is Abby, and I was wondering if you could say Rebecca. No, Abby, I'm not going to do it. But I tell you what, I will do. I'm going to give you permission to scream it now for everyone, in front of On everyone. On the count of three. Yeah. Or, or just. Do you think you can do it, Abby? No. Why would you ask me to do it then? <laughs> Come on. Well, we can make everyone do it with her. Can everyone do it with her? Can we, get, can we help yes. her out? All right, you ready? I'm going to count ready? you in, and then I'm going to laugh while you all do it. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, that was all right. Perfect. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, my Hi. name is Megan, and do you like Damon or Stefan more? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. No, I'm not. I don't care. Uh, I, I don't know. What, who, do I, who do I like more or Klaus like more? Klaus. I think he likes Stefan more, right? Really? Hashtag I thought he liked Clefan. Damon more. You thought he liked Ian more? He yeah. doesn't know Ian. Ian's an actor. He, no, he knows Damon. Damon, I said. Uh, Damon? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't say Ian. <laughs> oh, I thought you said Ian. <laughs> <laughs> he corrected me by yeah. correcting. Quick to correct, uh, even when <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 love. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go with what my wife says. Damon. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. What your wife says is always the best answer, right? Yeah, that's right. Because uh, as someone once told us randomly, if you argue uh, and you win the argument, even when you win as a husband, you lose. <laughs> Hi. 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 Um, my name's Layla, and I was just wondering, um, would you... Um, like, which ship do you prefer, Caroline and Klaus, or Cammy and Klaus? No, nah, neither of them. I don't <laughs> like either of them. I think that they should end up together, and they can create their own ship. I call it Cameline. <laughs> Hashtag Cameline all the way. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Chantal, and I was wondering, Joseph, um, if you had to go back and give Klaus uh, advice on how to handle stuff, what would you advise him to do? Just to be more patient, I think. What, what would you advise him? To stop killing his siblings. <laughs> no, let's be realistic. <laughs> be realistic. Yeah. Be more patient when yeah. you kill your siblings. Anger management <laughs> classes. Yes, yes. Good. Hold that temper. Who would, who would uh, take the anger management classes that Klaus <laughs> did, do you think? No, no, no Klaus like, needs to take the yeah, anger management. Yeah, but who would be giving the class? Who will oh. be teaching him to manage his anger? Some really patient hippie. Some really, really patient <laughs> person. Elijah? No. Elijah would be... <laughs> That's going to end with a dagger. <laughs> then he would kill the therapist. Hi, my name Hi. is Ailey, um, and I was just wondering, what are each of your favorite iconic lines from The Vampire Diaries? Mine's easy, because I... That's my... Always and forever. I just love it. I love it. It's just eternity. What's yours? Um, I like... Uh, what that, about that? What, oh, what, what were you going to say? That line that the girl that recently wrote in about, and it was really beautiful. That Is one. that what you were going to say? No, I mean, I like Always and Forever, really, because it's, to me it's like the core of what the show is about, and it's the vow that the family made for each other, and it's become such a part of our lives and of the, the, the Morgan White shows and, and everything that it's all about it's about looking out for each other right no matter what no matter if your sibling does something they might regret later on always and forever so i i gotta go with that as well Aww. yeah thank, thank you, you so much it was lovely to meet you both oh, you too thank, thank you. you what a polite young lady you guys are so sweet hi my name's eva and i was wondering um joseph did you know um whenever you started filming the originals how it would end I didn't know how it would, it would end, but I suspected Klaus would die in some way. 
because that's sort of he's too big a character to kind of he went off and lived happily ever after <laughs> I didn't see that on the cards for him you know <laughs> I know did, what, did you know how it would end no 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 I don't think uh, it, it was a shock to see him die I thought yeah, yeah. I thought he would traumatizing do something would you say it was a bit traumatizing. I did cry. <laughs> I cried and he was sitting next to me. <laughs> I'm like, this is so weird. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a Thank good day. You. Bye. Hi, my name is Roxy. Um, I just want to ask, what was your both favorite seasons of Vampire Diaries? Season of Vampire oh. Diaries. Three. Three. <laughs> Three, because yeah. it had loads of originals. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sophie, and I was wondering, Joseph, what was your favourite season, the film of the originals? Uh, that's a tough one. I really liked season one because we were just starting out and it was exciting, even though there was growing pains with like, trying to get the show how we wanted it and stuff. It was really, really exciting, and there were some of my favorite scenes there. And there's nothing quite like that, like, you know, we do the pilot, and then is it gonna be a show? Is it gonna be picked up? And then it's picked up, and then you do it, and then you get a season two, and, you know, it's really an amazing journey, and seeing the fans connect with it, I think, so that was probably my favorite. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name's Daisy, and I just wanna say thank you for coming to these events because I got tickets to Comic Con for my birthday and he's just made it really special by being so oh, happy. Thank happy you. birthday, thank you. Thank you, Daisy. Happy thank birthday. You. Happy birthday, Daisy. Yay! Hi, my name's Ebony and I was just wondering what is a role that you passed up on that you now regret? A role? that I passed up on. I don't, I don't pass up on any, I take every job that I can get. <laughs> but I've auditioned for some roles <laughs> that, I, that I do not regret uh, not getting. Um, no, I don't know, I don't know. I don't think uh, I have anything there. I mean, I've, I, I had to pass on, on that stuff. 70s show and I really liked that show and it was sad. Yeah. I couldn't take it because I had another show. I wanted to cry. Yeah, that's but yeah, true. you haven't really passed up much, um, or had to, I should say, have you? Not really. Uh, not that you regret it. Not you really. You passed up on Everything things. I turned down, I never watch, because I don't, I don't want to be jealous that's of the true. person who did the thing. And I want to watch it, and he's it's like... It's <laughs> dead to me. No. Sometimes I watch something and go, why did that guy get it? I would have been, why didn't they? And sometimes I watch it and go, like with the, the boys, I watched that and I was like, oh my God, like that guy, Anthony Starr, is so good in that show. Like, I was like, oh yeah, I get it. Yeah, he's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, I was wondering, who's your favorite character in The Vampire Diaries? Klaus. <laughs> Klaus. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, it's unanimous, uh, Val. Klaus. Yes, is the correct answer. <laughs> Thank you. I got it right. Yay. Hi, um, I was wondering what your opinions on Matt Donovan? I l Matt Donovan. What's your opinions of Matt Donovan? I love Matt Donovan. I think he is. Uh, I'd like to change my answer. Matt Donovan is my favourite character in the Vampire Diaries. Yours is still Klaus, right? <laughs> Val? Still Klaus. Bonnie. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name's Abigail. Um, I wanted to ask, do you two have like a project you'd love to do together that you haven't already? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're producing something, so we're really excited. Yeah, we've been working on a couple of things, but yeah, one thing in particular, we, we're pushing down the line right now. So yeah. We have both, there's a lot of stuff we, I mean, we have done some things together, but there's a lot of uh, things. Creatively, we see quite eye to eye, which is why we're together, I think, or a lot of the reason, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Two movies and one television series that has to do with genre. We love genre. Yeah. We love genre, again, you know, yeah. 
There you go. Thank you, though. Thank I can't you. wait to post that we're doing it. That's fingers crossed. Great. Thank you. Um, I'm Ebony, and when did you start feeling like feelings for each other on the Vampire Diaries? When did we start feeling feelings for each other? The minute... Yeah, right away. We met each like, other. Right <laughs> away. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty instant. Yeah, because yeah. we didn't do any scenes together. We, like one, but it was a group scene with loads of people in. Um, that was later. And that, that was later. We were already like... <laughs> it was a done deal by then. <laughs> for me, at least. Straight away. Straight, straight away. away, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, it was pretty Thanks, intense. Ebony. Thank you for asking that. That was a good, juicy question. Can you imagine if you answered differently? That would have gotten really awkward. <laughs> At the same like, time. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, right away. <laughs> yeah. okay. Hi, I'm Emer. Um, I'm actually getting married later this year. So I'm wondering, is there any piece of, like, what's your best couple or marriage advice? Ooh. What do you, you want to go, go first? first? Oh. Okay, well... <laughs> Always let your wife go first. <laughs> <laughs> no, be respectful of each other. Look how respectful of each other we are. Um, patience. And I really think communication. Communication, for sure. Like, try not to go to bed angry. Talk, talk yeah. it out. Um, and, but recognize if you're both tired or not able to have a conversation and just step away for a minute and then come back when, when you take a breath, you know what I mean? Rather than trying to force your way through it. Yeah, I think never take anyone for granted, you know? We've been together 13 years and um, I'm still excited to talk or see him. And I think some people get like, oh, you know. Uh, and whether it's your child or your mother or your sister or your partner, when you start to take them for granted, I think it gets, he never takes me, for, we, we have a lot of uh, respect and desire to be with each other, but I think that's like sweet, you know, to, to respect each other. Yeah, and, and one, sorry, one more thing as well. One more thing. Is you're like, you're, you're always learning, and that's true in life, I think, in general. You're always learning about each other, and you can always kind of do, do a little bit better and try and kind of grow together as a couple. It's never like, wow, we made it. Let's just relax and we'll be like this. You know, you're always like working it because it, you have to work it to make it work, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, thank thank you, you, and good luck with your wonderful relationship, marriage. Hi, my name's Eva, and I have a question for Santa Claus. I was wondering if you and Daniel Gillies are still besties. No, we were never friends. Uh, I despised him. We decided to pretend to be friends as a sort of promotional tool to further both of our careers, but it didn't work for either of us. Um, so now I've blocked him from all my social... Yes, we're still friends. Thank you. He's going to see that. <laughs> I'm counting on him seeing that. Hi, my name's Emily, and I was wondering, do you think Caroline and Kyle should have ended up together? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. I don't think Kyle should have ended up with anyone. I like the drama. Like, that, there's no drama in a happy ending. We've been there, right? Remember, you've turned down roles where the guy is too nice. Joseph's like, no. If the role description <laughs> says he's nice, I go, no. He's like, no. I'm like, think about it. He's because like, I want the drama. Like, I'm an actor. I want to act, you know? I don't want, like, oh, isn't this pleasant? Yes, it is pleasant. Yes, it is. Yawn. <laughs> Thanks. I love you, Bob. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Hi, I'm Tommy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really nervous. Um, oh, hi. I was just wondering. <laughs> you got yeah, it. Go on. Um, Tammy, right? Tammy. Tammy, hi. Um, if you just could write a storyline for your own characters on the Vampire Diaries, what would your storylines be? Mm. Interesting. You had such amazing storylines. Yeah, I had a, a plethora of storylines. I don't know, probably something like 
uh, in the flat, some kind of flashback. You know what I like to do, actually, that we never did, that we were gonna do on the originals, is go back to the 60s. I wanted to do that, and we even, like, I talked with the guy who did hair, because there was all the different wigs, right? We were gonna do, like, a kind of Jim Morrison thing from oh, the doors, wow. it was gonna be wicked, and then they decided not to do the 60s at all. So I do some, some kind of storyline in the 60s, maybe with Damon. I would probably do um, something in Salem and just do a spin-off about witches and the origin of um, incorporate those families into the Salem witch hunt and show where they were in that. And that would be kind of interesting to have a oh, just yeah. a witch element. I like that idea. Yeah. yeah thank you. Thank, thank you. you for inspiring us. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Hello, my Hello. name is Rosemary. I was just wondering if you have stolen kept anything from the set. I didn't. Yes. And I won't say. <laughs> I took the coin. Whoever picks up this coin gets to live. I yeah. took that. I've got that. And two massive duffel bags of clothes <laughs> yeah. when I left. Some of them will be auctioning off for charity soon. Oh, yeah, we are going to auction some of them off. Yeah. Some of them I'm keeping. <laughs> but, thank yeah. you so much. Thank, uh, you. thank you. Molly! Hi, hey, Molly. Joseph and Persia. Hi! Uh, my question is, are you ever going to write an autobiography? Ooh. An autobiography... Together or, or singular? Together. Together. Oh. Maybe. I don't I've know. I've already started. That's a good I'm idea, 362 Molly. pages in. You didn't what? know. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a dish the dirt, tell all. <laughs> the truth about Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I think it would be great. Yeah, maybe. Thank you for the idea, Molly Rook. Yes. Yeah. That's uh, a great idea. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, Molly. Thank you. Hi. Um, Hi. I was just wondering, do you wish the originals had have ended any differently than it did? Uh, not for Klaus. I think that was good. Like him sacrificing himself so his daughter could live was sort of the ultimate ending for him. You know, someone who's so selfish being selfless in the end and the person he cared about most in the world was hope. And so I think for his character, I was satisfied. I thought that was a good ending. And, uh, you know, it's not for me to say about how the other characters ended. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, it would have been nice if, if uh, Elijah got to stay alive and have happiness. Why did Elijah die? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. That'd be beautiful. He didn't want the Will You Be On Legacies tweets for the next four years, <laughs> <laughs> which we got anyway. Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, my name. Oh, hey, my name is <laughs> Kelly, and I thank you for coming here. Best birthday present ever. Oh. My favorite scene is when you buy Caroline for her birthday, and then you go save her. What is your favorite scene, Joseph? There's so many. Uh, I like the whoever picks up this coin because I get to do a big speech and then kill a lot of vamps. Uh, I like the trial of Klaus Michelson. Again, a big speech. I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> yeah, he likes big speeches. <laughs> I like monologuing. Um, just all, a lot of the stuff with family was my favorite. The emotional stuff with, with the family, because that's what the show was all about, you know? Yeah, they're my favorite too. <laughs> you too. Happy birthday, by the way. Thank Is today you. your birthday or this week? It was Monday. Happy Monday. Birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Applause. For same Another week as Kakram, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, look Hi. at you. Oh, can we just talk about the fashion? I love it. You look gorgeous. Look at those boots. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Hi, my name's Roxy, and I was wondering, who's your favorite couple on Vampire Diaries? Favorite couple on Vampire Diaries, Cleffon. Cleffon all the way. Yep. <laughs> Hashtag Cleffon. Cleffon. Klaus and Stefan. <laughs> Yeah, there's a beautiful scene where we're on the edge of the Titanic and he's holding me and I'm, there's a screenshot of it somewhere. It's beautiful. Hi. Um, hey, uh, my name's Bee and I was just wondering what your favorite vegetable is. Oh. 
Good question. As a vegan, this is really going to take some time. <laughs> Go on. Favorite vegetable. Favorite vegetable. No, veggie. I've actually never thought about this. <laughs> I think I, I feel like I can't include potatoes because, like, I love. They're a carbohydrate. Potatoes. They ridiculous. are ridiculous. Yeah, no. I know. I know. We gotta go green or yeah. red or orange. Okay. <laughs> I will. Wait. What? Is avocado a vegetable or no, a fruit? No, it's a fruit. No, it's a fruit. It's, it's a, a fruit. fruit. Too disqualified. Uh, I oh, like. Thank you. Um, Oh, it's a tough one if I can't have them. I do like a lot of veggies. What do you like? I mean, we love, I love broccoli. Um, I like broccolini. Broccolini, like the, the oh stem, yeah, tender, tender stems. stems. Kale. I like a bit of kale with avocado on. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Everything with, well, you like potato, I think potatoes are, no, potatoes no. Potatoes are carb, we've been right? through sorry, this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. I like Brussels sprouts. I like mushrooms? No, no, that's fungus. Oh. <laughs> What's she your favorite vegetable? What's, What's your celery? Celery. Have you ever had celery and peanut butter? And you can put like little raisins oh, on good. it and make it's absolute good. Oh. I love it. It's I like delicious. chopping up celery in the I am learning dishes. things here it's today. Stringy, though. It's brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for the tips. Hi, uh, my name is Jolene, and I'm just wondering why there was no humanity switch talked about in the originals when there was in the Vampire Diaries so much of it. There's a very interesting and complex answer to that, Jolene, which Julie Pleck will be happy to answer <laughs> for you, should you need it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Older and wiser, maybe? Maybe older and wiser, maybe it doesn't work with the originals. Maybe it was just something that got left along the way, like Damon turning into a raven. Or the actual diaries in Vampire Diaries. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah. Dear Diary. Good question. Thank you, thank you. Jolene, thank for drawing you. my attention. Thank you for coming to Ireland. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. I think we have time for just one final question. No pressure. How are you? Hi, um, my name's Faye, and if you could be any other Vampire Diaries character that's not Klaus, who would you be and why? Who would you be if you could be anyone that's not Klaus? Pleasure. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was looking, can we do two more questions? We can, yes. Okay. Oh, bless your heart, of um, course. Um, who would I be? Um, I would... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> if I couldn't be Klaus, who would I be? I don't know, Rebecca. I think I love Rebecca. I yeah, thought she yeah. was a brilliant character and she was so strong. Yeah. I'd be Elijah and then I'd just make him look really silly and like just sort of shame him. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Saoirse and I was just wondering, Joseph, out of Caroline and Haley, who, would, who did Klaus prefer? None of them. <laughs> None of them. Didn't like either of them. He really had it up to here with them. By the end, he was like, I have had enough of Haley and Caroline. If I ever see any of them again, you know, give me Stefan any day, but I tell you what. So thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Sure. Go, go ahead. on. We'll do these final two. Getting thank us you. in trouble. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Maya. What's your star sign? Taurus. Scorpio. What's your star What's sign? What's yours? Virgo. Burger. Nice. Nice. All right. There we go. We can Thank all you. have a nice Thank cup of tea. You. That's a good tea party. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Hello. Hello. My name's Katie. And can you just say, all right, love in your close accent, no. please? No. Please? No. Please? No, but I tell you what I will do. Please. I will give you permission to say no. it in my close no, accent. No, no, yeah. See? You turn it on me, I turn it back on you. <laughs> no, I can't do it. All right. Love. <laughs> no. That was excellent. Thank you so much. See? Thank you. When you turn the tables, it's it's not easy yeah, to get I've up there and do to that. Turn the tables now. Spread yeah. the word. They're putting Spread you to the work. Word. That's what happens if you come up to the mic and ask for Rebecca or Hello Love. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to all of you. What <laughs> I think his character then. rubs off on him sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> he still he lives in my head. He wasn't acting, guys. He wasn't yeah. acting. Do the lines get blurred sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 
just in the way that somebody can have a bit of a stubbornness that Klaus yeah. had. You know, not as cruel, but stubborn, yes. Sure. The, that look said it all. You just totally outed yourself there. <laughs> well, I, I have to just one final question for you guys. And first of all, before we do this, can we give them a round of applause for being so giving and making, with all of the fans, and making it such a unique, genuinely lovely experience for everyone? But just a question for me, when you leave us here in Belfast, what's next for you guys? Where are you headed? Anything you're excited about? What's next for Joseph in Persia? Well, we're in the middle of a huge move. So <laughs> we, we're going back to Hawaii, um, yeah, and we're moving. So We've got we, about we two le weeks left to our move to everything. come here, <laughs> and we got to go back for 27 hours of flying. So yeah, it's going to be a big journey. And then we get to see our dogs. Yeah, so yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, any final words for your fans here in Belfast who are just adoring of you and they're so thrilled that you would come oh, all wait, this way, especially the with a big move going on. Thank you guys for making the trip. Um, thank you guys so much. We are going to be, if anyone wants to come across the pond in Halloween. Yes, we're going Halloween. to uh, Atlanta in, uh, for Halloween. We're going to uh, Rama Drama, which is a convention in uh, Conyers, Conyers, where, where the originals shot. filmed. And then in Covington, one month later in December, we're going to be doing I Was Feeling Festive too. But we are also doing a very special event there when we're in Covington, which we are organizing. We're hosting our it's first It's not affiliated party. with any convention. It's one night only. It's going to be swanky. It's the it's Morgan White holiday party. It's and a it's holiday party. And it's just a party. little private thing we're hosting in December in Georgia. Very, very limited tickets. Because yes. we, it's going to be uh, It's got to be so small. And, and yeah, and we couldn't gonna be, even, yeah. I'm going to dress up fancy. You, you had, you had us nice. at Swanky. It's, now it's we're all intrigued. Swanky. swanky. That's yeah, right. Fantastic. December well, you guys, six, so, yeah. you're amazing actors. You're amazing hosts. I know that'll be a lot of fun. And you are, without a doubt, our favorite power couple. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for being here. Guys, thank you so much. We appreciate you and we love you. Thank you. Thank Wait, you, guys. Wait, before we go? Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Belfast, keep it going one more time for Joseph Morgan and Persia White.